If you're someone who wants to improve your personal finances, but you just hate budgeting, this video is for you. I know I spent a lot of time talking about saving money, making more money, budgeting, and really bringing the point home about why budgeting is so, so important. But in this video, I'm gonna give you a very good alternative to actually budgeting and mapping it out all yourself. I know how tedious and how boring it could be. You may feel like you don't have the time to set these things up. You don't have the time to sit down for 30 minutes every month and actually plan this out because 30 minutes sounds like a short amount of time, but that's like 30 minutes total of actually working on the budget. That's not counting the stuff in between. That's not counting looking up how much a certain bill costs or how much you're actually making to the cent every single month. Those things are gonna take you off track of budgeting and you're gonna to have to look these things up individually. That can easily turn into an hour, maybe even an hour and a half. I remember the first time I started budgeting, it took me like two hours for the first time I ever sat down. And this was with very few bills, very few anything, but I wanted to make sure I had every little thing in control. And that's the whole purpose of budgeting is to feel like you're in control. But when you hate budgeting, then you don't do it and you're still not where you want to be financially. What happens is you end up in a place where you don't feel like you're in control and you feel like you're at a crossroads simply because you hate budgeting. You don't really have the time. You may not really understand the full concept around budgeting, what it can really do for you. And you may feel like you're already doing a pretty good job managing your money without a budget so you're pretty much like well this is useless why should i even budget or you might just feel like budgeting restricts you from doing the things that you want to do so the alternative i have for you in this video is actually a method that can help you put limits on certain things so you're not spending too crazily you can see exactly where you're at it'll produce a chart for you you can see exactly where you're at every single month and you can create whatever category you want and it's fully automated and it's connected to your bank account and it's 100 free and this will help you understand the true impact of your spending without you having to go and do it yourself and do research and taking all this time to lay out a budget for yourself so it takes your finances it organizes them it simplifies the whole thing and it shows you the impact that you have on yourself and what that enables you to do is actually to do what you're already doing just guilt free because you know exactly where every dollar is going and what that actually does to your bank account and then you can also look at opportunities to save even more because what's the purpose of budgeting anyway you have your reasons i have my reasons you may want to be able to save more you maybe just want to feel like you have control and you know exactly where every dollar is going so you can put that money towards something else be it a house a car a tv whatever it is that is your jam right now but I'll just say this, whether you decide to budget or use this alternative that I'm about to give you, make sure you choose one of them because if you choose to do neither of them, you run the risk of making a lot of mistakes. And those mistakes just come in the form of spending too much or even restricting yourself too much where you feel like you're depriving yourself of a good experience and a good life when you could technically spend more based off of the budget that you have laid off. Once your obligations are done, you're good to go. So it doesn't matter what kind of salary you're making. It could be low, high, in the middle somewhere like most people, you will see where every dollar is going. Let's go ahead and get started. So if you're someone who hates budgeting, what I want you to do is get your phone out and go to the App Store or the Google Play Store, whichever you have, iPhone or Android. But I will just tell you, iPhones are superior, so I don't know what you're doing if you got an Android. But you wanna download this app called Mint. It's by Intuit. And I'm actually gonna do it with you guys real quick. So, boom. So it's Mint Budget and Expense Manager. It is fire. It's got five stars, 757K reviews all that good stuff so you want to download that i'm actually going to download it again because that is how powerful it is and i'm getting to the point right now where even i don't feel like sitting down every month and going over my budget plus sometimes and this is just i'm just being completely transparent a lot of it is because my salary has gone up so much like it is basically doubled right and so i just feel like Sometimes I don't even need to look at anything because I know I'm still going to have at least a certain amount left over every month. But I had to talk to myself this morning like I was staring at my bank account. I was staring at like my multiple bank accounts and my investments and things like that. And I was like just staring at the number 
thinking of what I could do to then double and triple the numbers that I'm looking at in my accounts. Because all in all, that's what's going to be what increases my overall net worth, which is extremely important to me. And I know stuff like that is important to you. And I thought, well, if I'm even more intentional with my money, and I know I preach about budgeting, I preach about saving, but I also preach about increasing your income. And I've managed to increase my income to the point where sometimes I feel like budgeting is just not necessary. But I also understand that it can help paint a better picture for me. So I'm downloading this app with you guys. I just got it downloaded. So I'm about to open it up. I'll set everything up later. But I just wanted to show you guys proof that, hey, I'm, I'm checking this app out as well. It's amazing. This is actually what I used when I first got started. This was 100% my secret weapon. I haven't talked about it too much on this channel, but that app is fire. Trust me. Like I tell you guys that it takes about three months to get a good cadence going with actually getting your budget down and mastering your budget. But this app right here masters it for you. Now, when I first got started, I was literally making like half, like exactly half of what I'm making right now. And plus I'd never budgeted before. I didn't know the first thing really about personal finances. This was like six years ago. And I just wanted to make sure I wasn't overspending. I wanted to make sure I had some money in my savings. I wanted to make sure I had some sort of cushion of security if my job just fell through or if I got let go or something because I did work for a very cutthroat company. I made several videos about that, but you get the idea. I wanted something better for myself. I wanted other alternatives. I wanted other options. I wanted a space to be able to breathe and look and like, hey, I have a good amount of money in this area. I have a good amount of money in this area. I have a savings. I have an emergency fund. This, these were the days where I was actually preparing myself and opening up my savings and my emergency fund and learning what an emergency fund even was. And then you know what I did? I made an emergency fund for my emergency fund. And, and using this app actually is how I was able to go from like $2,000 to my name all the way to $20,000. I used that app, Mint, that app that I just talked to you about. And there's other alternatives out there as well. There's like Dave Ramsey's app, the zero-based budgeting app. But I'm going to tell you this. This app is so much better. It auto syncs to your bank account. For Dave Ramsey's app, you definitely have to pay to get your bank account synced to the app. I just think this is better. It has charts. I've used both of them because like I said, I was in the trenches heavy when I first got started out because I was so afraid of making a mistake. So that's the first thing. Just download the app, see what it does for you. But also I want you to pair it with the budgeting method. So you have the 50, 30, 20 rule, and you also have the zero based budgeting. What I've done in my own personal life is I've married the two. So here's what that means. Instead of just looking at a zero based budget, like, okay, I want my budget to go down to zero every month. Okay. I paid my rent. I paid my car. I paid my utilities. I paid all my insurances, all that good stuff. Boom. Cool. Now I have 500 left over. Okay. No, you don't. It's going to savings. That would then make your budget go to zero. But I think a better way of doing this, and I swear by this, this is actually one of the first videos I ever put on this channel ever. Actually, it was the first video I put on this channel. It is the 50, 30, 20 rule, right? And so using the 50, 30, 20 rule, let's say, you know, the first 50% is supposed to be your necessities, right? But if you only use 30% of that, then you use the zero based budget methodology where you take the extra 20% and you put it either in your savings or your wants. You get what I mean? And obviously the smarter choice there would be your savings, but you could even split them up between the two. You may want some leisure at the end of the month because you feel like you've worked for this. You've, you've earned a reward for yourself basically is what I'm saying. And I've done it for myself several times and it's not going to hurt you. But the, the idea is you get to see by using the 50, 30, 20 rule, which one it should go to and what impact it's going to have on your life. If it's going to have a minimal impact on your savings account, you can throw some of it into your wants and maybe it can give you some more leisure, some more fun that you feel like, you know what? I've worked hard and I'm going to go ahead I'm going to go to one of my favorite places in the world. I'm going to spend, 
extra time with my family. We're going to vibe. We're going to have a really good connection this weekend. Stuff like that. Like stuff like that is so extremely important. So extremely underrated that we don't think about these things. You might even just want to get an Airbnb for the weekend or something like that. But whatever it is that you want to do, you can really look into what you want to do with that. If you're like me, like for me, I'm heavy on investing and growing wealth outside of YouTube, outside of work, making money truly work for you in your sleep while the best businesses in the world make money, you make money. So the way I look at it is if I have any extra money, it's either going to go into my savings or it's going to go into investments. And investing could be things like stocks or it could be like a new camera for my YouTube channel or new lighting for my YouTube channel or it could go into my website, things of that nature. But my money is always going toward making me more money, making me more sustainable, making me more financially stable and financially independent and eventually financially free. That is what the name of the game is. That is the reason that I budget. That is why I use that app. So you want to marry the two. So you use the 50, 30, 20 rule as a guide to say, okay, so half of my money that I make every month is supposed to go toward necessities. But if it doesn't, and I actually go under that 50%, I can use it towards something else. That's the easiest way for me to explain it. And that's exactly what I mean. And if your priorities and your reasoning behind budgeting is to get more savings, whatever the extra percentage is, would just simply go toward your savings. And that would be that. And you would do it every month to the point where you master it. And this is my last tip for you. If you really hate budgeting, I want you to go watch two of my videos. One, how to master budgeting and saving money. And two, how to double your savings. Pair those videos together, watch them back to back, then come back to this one couple of that advice with the app, I promise you, you will not know how to act when you see the results. And I mean that in a good way, like you'll be doing backflips and you may not have done a backflip in your life, but I'm telling you, you're going to do a backflip once you get these results. Anyway, that is my message to anyone who hates budgeting or doesn't really understand budgeting that well and they want something that's more automated to do it for them. Check out the Mint app. I will leave it down in the description. You'll be able to easily access it. Just click the link. You'll be able to download it right then and there. You don't even have to search for it by yourself. And that is the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant. This channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.